Oh look, we're basically, we're basically Carlos Sainz at this point. <laughs> Welcome to Car Guys. This week we're on our way to Four Star Classics. We're going to see an extremely rare and special final edition of the Lancia Delta Integrale. And maybe we might be coming away with a small Lancia. Star Classic so interesting is that they've always got a really varied collection of very special cars at not super super expensive money. You're always guaranteed to see a lot of variety, a lot of cool stuff from Mercedes, BMW, Audi, a few little special Porsches and in this case a Lancia Delta Integrale. We've never been there before but we want to take you along with us. Here we are inside Four Star Classics, the very impressive showroom, and we have absolutely loads of stunning cars in here. Really eclectic mix. Everything's got a story. Everything is super cool and right up our street. So here we go then. Mark IV RS Turbo. Twelve thousand miles 12, on it. Twelve thousand miles, immaculate condition. Absol Still smells brand new. Absolutely mint. Yep. It smells like a Ford. It smells like a Ford. It smells like a new Ford. This one tucked in the corner, this is a limited edition uh, Mercedes SL500, the Silver Arrows. This is when they made Mercedes properly, this is when SL really meant something. What a lovely place to sit and while away the hours. You see that they've got the machined aluminium dials and dashboard there, just for that extra class. Dun, dun, dun. Evo 6 Tommy Mackinnon edition Mitsubishi. A real icon of the Japanese 4x4 rally car. Phenomenon. It was this against the Subarus. You can almost hear Lenny the geezer smacking his lips at this. <laughs> Look at it. This is right up your street, Lenny, my, my old China. Yeah, it's perfect. Look at that. You see, when we said they had special stuff here, we were not lying. No, we don't lie to you. Would we lie to you? Is that what colour is that interior? Chili con carne. This is a bastard black Audi RS4. Perfect. Look at that. Every day of the week. Every Essex boy's wet dream. M3 CSR. Or used to be. Carbon fibre roof. Mean person. Mean thing. thing. Very much like that. Clio V6. Clio V6. Icon. Yeah. Of spinach. And when I mean that, I mean spinning round and round and round in circles. E30 M3. Hmm. Lovely thing. Renault 5 Turbo wide body. Look at that. Look at the wide haunches. Wow. French beige armchairs. I mean, you're not going to, what are they going to hold in? Look at that. What a thing. I would expect that's absolutely mental on the road. I think you'd frighten yourself silly at about three miles an hour. Engine wise, it's actually in there, which means it's a little bit of a handful in the wet or in the dry. It's a little bit of a handful. <laughs> Look at that, look at the details on it. I mean, it's a thing to have, isn't it? Look at the bulge on it, look at the way it sticks out. Ruby stone red, AKA pink, 964 RS. <laughs> yeah, you're not fooling anyone, Porsche. This is not my cup of tea, I don't like this color, but I suppose you could wrap it. You can wrap it? Yeah, we cannot not have a 964 no. RS. Yeah, I totally agree. BMW Z Roadster. So this is the this huge is the... engine Z3. Yeah, it's basically got the BMW M3 3.2 litre straight six. This thing's just beast. How about this Paul Wallace from Supercars of London? Oh. Does this float your boat? I think it does, doesn't what it? What about you, Sideways Sid? Look at that. Nissan GTR. Nürburgring edition. 450 brake. This is this is a stock car. Very, very rare, but unfortunately very, very expensive. Yeah. Much more money you'd want to pay for a GTR. I love what they've got here because there's so many different types of vehicles. Walking around here is just so much fun. 
Um, it's not just a standard one make garage that are concentrating on only buying and selling really exclusive expensive supercars. There's such an eclectic mix. This is it, the Lancia Delta Integrale Final Edition. Properly one of the all-time greats and this is possibly the all-time great of the all-time greats. Love the stainless steel gear knob, love the dials, and this purposeful racing steering wheel. This is a truly great example. So this one's from Japan, where the final editions came from. But this is a truly, truly special. You can see there, Edizioni Finale, and this is number 109. Push button starter, which is unique to this edition. I have to say the pedal box down here is incredibly tight. Can you see how close that is? Clutch is jammed down here, very, very close to this footrest. So you've got a small little gap there. You've got the brake pedal right next to it and then accelerator right to it. So it's very, very tight down here in terms of a pedal box. taking the Integrale out. We'll get Damien's first reaction in a little while. They let us out in the Integrale, Whee! I can't believe they let us out. So this is a Delta Integrale. Final edition. Final edition, instantaneous first impressions. It's very smooth to drive. The, it's quite harsh on the road. So damping is, uh, is a little harsh. But so far, driving position is, is excellent, so you, you have totally riveted to the seat. The steering wheel is just the right size, nice and small, just to get above it, get some good purchase on the steering wheel. Dials are just so classic, it's unbelievable. Gear change, very short throw, really nice and easy. Lovely oh, yeah. view, you've got the stripe on this one out down over the bonnet, and the bonnet drops away very quickly. So you've got a lot of glass, it's, it's, a, it's a nice place to be. And I can see those big bulgy wheel arches can you? through, the, a, mirrors. through the mirrors, that's lovely. That is a lovely can view. Can we get a little shot of that? There you go, how about that? I honestly, this is, uh, this is a moment in your life to be in one of these things, it's just incredible. Oh, look, we're basically, you're basically Carlos Sainz at this point. <laughs> this is the Welsh forest. I'm not sure, I'm not sure if we're quite there yet. <laughs> It does feel quite a wide car, that's what's interesting. It does feel, despite the fact that it's quite diminutive in here, on the road, the wheelbase does feel quite wide, but uh, I'm sure that's something we'll get used to. Hiccup from the turbo is, is good, actually. You can feel that surge. Brakes, let's see what the brakes are like. Ooh, okay. Actually, they're not bad. They're pretty good, actually. A little bit spongy. But they're better okay. than I was expecting for a car this age. It's not a huge surge by modern car standards, but uh, but it's still it's still great fun. It's it's a classic historic place to be. It does feel pretty nippy though. Yeah. And again, perfectly positioned. The steering wheel is a lovely size, and steering itself is just just heavy enough to give you confidence. It really is incredibly firm. I, you can feel every lump and bump um, through the base of your seat. Although these seats are actually quite comfortable. They're very grippy around the hips um, and they're quite softly padded, but you can, yeah, it's bumping and shaking all over the place, that's for sure. Yeah, like a rally car. Just like a rally car, that's right, yeah. So how's the non-turbo pickup in this old girl? Non-turbo pickup is virtually non-existent. <laughs> but once you get it up to the turbo zone, 
thing, exciting things start to happen. It, it gets very exciting very quickly. So foot down in third, there you go. Feel the turbo come on. Oh yeah. It does feel you know, very, very planted. Considering how old this thing is, that's some pretty good pickup. There we go, old school turbocharging. Yeah. Absolutely nothing and then everything. Exactly. Brilliant. Nothing, 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 nothing. Like, everything everything great! I didn't really expect it to feel as refined as this. I mean, number one being this old and number two being a Lancia, you, you don't really expect. Yeah, I mean, it feels like a properly solid car. I mean, I've driven much worse cars than this. Much newer, much worse. Much cars. newer, much worse cars than this. Yeah. You're not supposed to meet your heroes, and this is definitely a hero oh, for yeah. both of us. Yeah, 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 without a doubt. It's just so nice that it lives up to the height. <laughs> it's brilliant. All the controls are light, everything feels great. It feels modern, feels smooth, the yeah. engine pulls strongly. It's really comfortable to be in. Sweet revving, it's, it's just got it all, isn't it? Yeah, it really has. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? And it's very much run. like sit on a Honda Civic Type R type gear yeah. stick, or Honda Integra R, actually. Yeah, I'm loving that turbo. The way that that comes in. But this pedal box is so small, isn't it? You can see why this is such an absolute destroyer of B-roads. Because you're sitting on top. And the steering wheel's quite low, so you've got this feeling that you're kind of driving it almost like a go-kart in that kind of position. So uh, what do we think? What do we think? What do we think? I think it was stunning. I thought oh, it was yeah, absolutely so, amazing. Totally impressive. And it looks epic as well with all those bulges and, yeah, and arches. I mean, look at it. Yeah, I was expecting it to be a bit rattly, a bit tinny feeling, um, tricky to drive because it's, you know, basically quite old technology cramming a four-wheel drive system into what essentially is a tin can, but actually yeah. it's such a, such a well sorted cup. Mm. And I guess this is the why everyone says buy the Evo 2s. Yeah, yeah. And we're gonna have to, come, we'd have to come up with a very big excuse not to buy this car. That is the problem. I mean, the only excuse we've got at the moment is we haven't got any room for it, but... Don't know. We're just going to have to make room, aren't we? Here a little while, We're it? just going to have to make room. Thanks for um, being with us for the tour of Four Star Classics. We've really enjoyed it and the HF Delta Integrale. And don't forget to leave comments. Please subscribe, please leave likes, and don't forget to click the little bell to receive notifications. See you soon.